With the end of World War II, Berlin was divided between the victorious allies. Eventually, the French, British, and American sectors became West Berlin, and the Soviet sector became Communist East Berlin. For the next four decades, the people of East Berlin were subjected to lots of propaganda, and that included art. Socialist realism, the art of the communist era, actually went beyond censorship. Art was legitimate only if it actively promoted the state. This mural, Building the Republic, dates from 1952. It's a classic example of socialist realism, showing the entire society delighted to work together toward the Marxist utopia. Industrial workers, farm laborers, women and children, all singing the same patriotic song. The communists also built Berlin's 1,200-foot-tall TV tower, quite an impressive erection back in the 1960s. Its purpose, along with better TV reception, to show the power of the atheistic state at a time when East German leaders were having the crosses removed from churches. But when the sun beamed on their tower, a huge cross reflected on the mirrored ball, high on the grandest spire in East Berlin. Cynics called it the Pope's Revenge. This boulevard has long been a main drag. Destroyed during World War II, Stalin decided this street should become a showcase for communist East Berlin. In the 1950s, he had it rebuilt with lavish Soviet aid and named it Stalin Boulevard. Today, this street, built in the bold Stalin Gothic style so common in Moscow back then, has been restored and renamed for Karl Marx. It's actually becoming in vogue and gives us yet another glimpse at what was communist Berlin. But even with massive housing projects and lots of clever propaganda, it took a wall to keep the people of East Berlin from leaving. <laughs> 